Hey guys, welcome back. Just wanted to kind of give you guys a little update here real quick. Um, as you can see, I transplanted uh, some of the different things into uh, the three inch net cups and I now have them in the little red uh, cups there. This little guy isn't gonna make it there. Um, he was being overshadowed, I think, by this one, if I remember correctly. Um, so I guess he didn't get the nutrients and stuff he needed. Um, but tomato and lettuce, and this is the hydroponic, of course. Then I have two soil-based uh, tomato. They look like they're doing pretty good. Um, obviously some sort of a, I believe that's a pest issue where um, something's crawling and eating on it. Um, not quite positive as to, to what it is, but um, I'm sure there's something out here that's eaten. Um, and then my, I'll try to get these all four in one shot here. Um, I have on the left, the lighter colored over here, two um, uh, cucumber plants, and then I have two uh, cu other two uh, cucumber plants. These are both hydroponic over here. These are both soil over here. Um, uh, all four of them are in smaller containers than what uh, they should be in, so uh, I definitely need to look at trying to get those transplanted. ASAP, uh, that was on my to-do list like three days ago, I think, um, so yeah, it's, it's just not gotten done yet. The little guy up here, obviously not doing too well, um, he's definitely got some algae issues there in his, uh, nutrients, so, um, my guess is the algae has completely smothered the roots, um, so I, I did this one here, and then I did, uh, I did these two down here in, uh, open containers. Uh, which the one over here I switched that's not its original container I just put it in that hoping that maybe he would make a comeback that he wasn't dead but it's obvious that um, he just had way too much algae on his roots and stuff so he died or is dying he did pretty good he's he survived pretty well um, so uh, the open container one out of three survived uh, which is not that great uh, when you look at some of the other, the canned things, um, most of those have and did survive and do survive. Um, can't really tell. Up front here, there are two tomato plants that are hydroponic. And in the back there, really hard to see, but there's one. And then there's the other one right there. Um, and those are, uh, I believe, some form of lettuce or something. <laughs> there's Mr. Bruce the cat. <laughs> He likes getting a shot. Um, but So that's pretty much what's going on there. I'll bring you over and show you what I did with the rest, um, which I had shown in a previous video um, that I uh, had done. But I just wanted to kind of give you an update on the plants. Uh, most of them look pretty good. Um, there are a couple that are, are not doing so hot. Um, I think just the temperature difference probably um, from the window over there to, to this box here, um, this little guy. Uh, see, it's it's definitely has liquid in there, um, but as far as um, this plant is just not you know not doing so well. But um, this little guy's not doing as well either because his stem's bent because he was kind of uh, had some sun issues there. This guy he's not doing so well because his stem was also <laughs> you know an issue. Um, I do have this little guy popped up doing well. This little guy seems to be doing pretty well. Uh, this little guy is doing quite well as well. And this little guy is doing quite well. So, um, you know, so I am, what is that, four? Four out of eight. Uh, that one's not doing horrible, but it's not doing the best. Um, but yeah, I think it's, it's a little too hot for these little guys. Um, I'm here in Florida. Uh, temperatures have been in the 80s probably. Uh, and this is lettuce, so... Um, I'm not expecting a high high yield out of these little guys. Um, I had planned on um, harvesting these um, little uh, uh, bags here, the sweet sweet potato uh, bags, um, that one, and then these two. But um, something's happened now where the they've just kind of taken off growing again. So um, you can see by the leaves here. Um, that little guy and the leaves over here on this guy uh, and even some over in the window that this is definitely a, a pest issue um, I think it's partly snails and then I'm sure there's some other pest that I'm not seeing that uh, is getting on them um, but this is the plant here that had the volunteer little flowers I need to clean it out um, the sweet potato vine is growing and it looks like it's going to take over that 
bucket if I let it touch down there, so hopefully that doesn't happen. Uh, this little guy's still not doing the best, um, but you can see in there all the little uh, plants there. That's actually this little guy here. I don't know what this is, um, but this was one I pulled from over here, my bamboo, and that thing is just, I keep the soil almost <laughs> completely wet, and that thing just thrives. Like, that thing was so small, like, two weeks ago and now it's just it's huge it's doing so much better than I ever thought it would so and if I let these little guys go those will if they're the same thing they might not be but I'm pretty sure those little guys there are the same as, as that big guy there um, so anyways those will probably be out of control soon um, the bamboo still doing good which is good um, I still have caterpillar or not caterpillar um, as you can see I still have the pest issue of the um, that thing called well you see what it is right um the um grasshopper there we go uh and then i have the pumpkin i still haven't harvested and cut that vine's pretty much dead this one's still going um still got grasshoppers on it my little pumpkin died there there was another one that was going see there's three grasshoppers one two three that i can see just right here so that's an issue i need to address um but my little rosemary, I gotta to transplant it uh, here soon. And the one really cool, great surprise that I had was this. My little watermelon plant is just going and growing like crazy. So very happy to see that. So we're that uh, that's working out well. It's just in a gallon milk jug with some uh, with some hydroponic solution. So and that's pretty much it. So uh, I'll catch you guys later.